couple of things in the news. Just wanted to mention institutional investors are back. Uh, and still buying single family housing. So what that means basically is that um, for those of you who don't know, an institutional investor is somebody who buys 10 or more rental properties in a year. That's how it's defined. There's a couple of different definitions out there. A lot, a lot of people define it as 10 or more. That's an institutional investor. Well, when the market crashed in 08, 09 ish, right? So back in about 2010, you started to see some of these vulture funds start get created is what they call them. There's people who were swooping in to buy a lot of these depressed or distressed uh, single-family houses that were now seriously cheap and I don't you know if you remember this but back during that time frame Warren Bu Buffett said if I had the people to manage they said where would you put your money today he said if I had the people to manage it I would go out and buy 10,000 single-family houses right now he said that in about 2010 2011 right and so Obviously, some institutional investors were paying attention. So you had a lot of these you know, big funds that were gathering up money, and they were going out and buying a lot of single-family properties and, and renting them out. Well, what happened is as the market stabilized and prices started to get up, you started to see less and less institutional investors buy. So that number actually bottomed out last year. However, to most people's surprise, this year it has started to turn back up. And most of the reason people think is because we've had this huge volatility in the stock market. The stock market had gone from, what, when it crashed, went down to 6,800 and just went up, 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 till it hit about 18,000. And over the last year and a half, it's kind of done one of these, right? It hasn't really gone anywhere. I think it closed at about 18,000, which is about the same place it was about 18 months or, or so ago, right? So it kind of went up and down and up and down. So because of that volatility, many of them are start, of the institutional investors are coming back to real estate and back to single family housing. So the reason I throw that out there, so if there were any of you who were kind of had the wherewithal or the ability to buy a single family house back in 2000, 2010 to 2013, got yourself a deal on it, this might be a real good time to sell it because you can probably get really, really close to retail because there's still a lot of buyers looking and then you can take that cash and then reallocate it to one of these 70% deals that your Bill Allens or Mike and Jay Paul or Ron Gage are sending out and you can maybe take one house and turn it into two houses. You could take a little bit of cash flow and turn it into a whole lot of cash flow. So just understand that's out there. Uh, find yourself a good realtor and maybe consider getting some of those sold if you got really good deals on them because you could, again, flip them and turn around and get some better deals from some of these wholesalers that are out there. Um, second one here is to let you know, and this is kind of an old thing. It's not really a, a necessarily a real new thing, um, but the reason why it's cool is a lot of people just don't know about it. And so I just want to throw it out there and let you, I, I came across an article about it not too long ago, but FHA, for those of you who don't know, has a bridal registry. And in fact, it's not just a bridal registry. It's, it's really, in general, it's a gift registry, okay? So it's not limited to just people getting married, but of course that is a time when usually a lot of young couples are looking to buy a house. Um, but they can go on to FHA's website. They can set up an account it's an interest-bearing account and basically they can hand that out or give that out to all of their you know when they hand out their cards they can instead of saying I'm registered at Target or Bed Bath & Beyond or whatever say I'm registered with FHA go on and give your donation there because we're trying to buy a house right and so but like I said it's not limited to that the great thing about it is it could be wedding it could be birth of a new baby which a lot of times people are looking to expand get into a larger house birth of a new baby um, it could be you know I don't know, I, some other thing, right? It could just be some time when people are going to get a lot of get Graduation, I guess, would be another one. Some people graduate school and a single guy or a single gal may want to go out and buy their own house. So anyway, all of these are opportunities and times when they can have donations made. Sometimes getting a lot of s uh, small donations creates a nightmare for lenders because they have to source all this stuff. But FHA, by creating this registry, has made it much easier. So the reason I throw that out is some of you guys are trying to sell lease option properties and maybe you really want to sell them. Some of you that do lease options, you'd rather they not buy them and you just keep the deposit and send it, do it again. But some of you really want to get them sold and cash out and move on to the next deal. So if you are, it may be a good idea to go to them, whoever's living there and say, hey, if you guys really want to get this done, this is a great, you know, it's kind of cheesy to go to your friends and be like, hey, would you donate money to my GoFundMe account? Or, you know, will you just give me money for a down payment? It doesn't feel as cool. But if they're going to give you a gift anyway, right, you just had a new baby, you and your, you know, fiance are getting married. This is a perfect situation where they're going to give you a gift anyway. Anyway, and if you want to help those lease option buyers get the cash they need to close, this is really a great opportunity to do that. So uh, anyway, check into that. Again, if you have lease option buyers, I just thought it was a little nugget you guys uh, would be interested in.